I am Brother Stephen Elabo, welcoming you to the Life Bible Church, Charlottesville, United States, a place where the undiluted Word of God is being preached. You are about to listen to our general superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye, as a comfort to share the mind of God with you and your family. I want you to be ready to pick up your pen and your paper and jot down important messages as they will do you good. God bless you and remain blessed. Moreti ami ara oto ti awara ketuke to jo pe sabe tin bo ami o ami o God has answered your prayer and Lord ti dawa dura re yes i do you o ti gbon re something will happen there today o ka yo sele ni lo ni bless you see that in the blessings of the lord oluwa yo bo fe joko ni ni bo oluwa there is an invitation the lord has given you if be kan be ti olorun ti fun you in particular tonight and ni wo fun ara re la leyi you really know oh man the lord was waiting for you before you came oluwa ti n do die ko to de he was waiting for you so that he can bless you on do die ko le bo fun o at tonight blessings have come loni ibogo si ti de jeremiah tells us jeremiah so fun wa jeremiah chapter 33 jeremiah ori keta le lord i mean from verse 3 ese keta ni mo ta kind of verse you'll not forget iru esa ti o ye ko gbagbere 33 eta eta meta 33 3 meta le lord ma ti eta and is jeremiah jeremiah si ni you will not forget this o le gbagbe le yi is a special message for you o ti ai wa so aro to fun is a special declaration for you ike di aro to ni fun o marks a special day in your life all fear me kan sinu aye re jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 jeremiah ori keta le lo be se keta all unto me ke pe mi are you sorrowful so ni ma nje all unto me ke pe mi are you suffering so ndi ya all unto me ke pe mi are you depressed awa ni olara all unto me ke pe mi say you okay your life say ajaga kan be nu aye re all unto me ke pe mi a people making you run health as skeleton awe ya ti mu oko mo saka kiri bi call on to me ke pe mi pass of darkness i think we lay you on the way agbara oko ko wa le oka kiri bi call on to me ke pe mi you see so sai so call on to me ke pe mi and they give you up say what is pa o ti fagi lorun e and they said you will die when ni o ma ku ni ah ah that one is cancelled there today ah ati fagi leyan na o call on to me ke pe mi and i will answer thee e mi o si da o lo o tell us are you looking for say o ma lo wa that's the almighty god talking to you o lord lord mare lo ba o soro the creator is talking to the creature e le da n be to da soro the savior is talking to the sin The great physician is talking to the patient. Olu was a lamba, a nice and nice sorrow. And the one that can provide all your needs is talking to the poor. And it don't matter about any remember on my own sorrow. The Libra is talking to the oppressed. Olu done the best that the Lara sorrow. And he says, "Call on to me." Only get by me, and I will answer thee. The meal down low. Show the great and mighty thing. The meal if you all up at it to go be home. What's he telling you there? He knows of all this. He said, "A great miracle is happening." to you today on this say you know last lesson no new this one you will not escape this one and let you the sabola be go to the right miracle will run after you but that's all what you go to the left miracle will run after you but that's all what you say you know you are be waiting for this day but in draw the day we are be waiting for this day i can draw the akoko yi the time when miracle will come akoko ti say you know the power will come ti agbara yo so ka the solid will come ti ase yo so ka the almighty god has invited you I will not be the same people. I said, "Call unto me." Only get me. And I will show you great things. A mere few only to be. My Jesus, O my Lord, that thou knowest not. Ti wo ko ma ho. Tonight, the Lord is telling you. Loni, Olu ambe shoro. You can pray with confidence. Oni ba dua pe li ba yoko. You can talk to God with confidence. Oni ba lo nsoro pe li ba yoko. You can ask Him with confidence. Oni ba ko ya ba shoro. Because this is the Lord Himself. Tori pe Olu wa pula la re. He said, "I know what you are going through." Oni mo man to la ko ya. I know your heart ache. Mo ma irora ko ya. I know the pressure. I know the oppression. I know all the assets we're going through. I know the hunger. I know the power. I know the poverty. I know 
poverty. I know what happens in the night. I know what happened to you the other night. And you are seeking, how will I be delivered? He says, your day of deliverance has now come. I see you there. God sees you there. The mighty power of God is going to touch you. That's why it's calling you. If you will respond, you will back down. If you will say, yes, Lord, here I am. I come. And I come. And I pray. That prayer will be answered. All unto me. He said me. It's the only one that can solve your problem. There is no name under heaven by which you can be saved. No name that can heal every sickness. Take every infirmity away. There is no name that can break every yoke and destroy every work of the devil. It's the one that says, call unto me. And then he gives you assurance. He says, authority from heaven. Confidence from heaven. And he says, I will answer you. You in particular. If you have never got any prayer answered. Tonight is the night of answered prayer. My talking to somebody there. Today. If you have never seen miracles, tonight is the night of miracles. A special miracle. Yes, sir. Tonight is the night of miracles. A special miracle. A specific miracle. A definite miracle. A one that has your name attached unto it. That's why God said. I will answer thee. That's you in particular. I said you in particular. Ah, that is your day. I said this is your day. And then he says, and I will show you. He will show you something. He will say, come and see. You will see. If you are blind, your eyes will open. He says, come and see. If you are lame, you rise up and walk. He says, come and see. If you brought anybody deaf and dumb, their ears will open, their tongue will be used. In the same tuberculosis there that is killing you, that death will vanish away. Life will come. Because it says, I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. He said, what you have never known, what you have never seen, what you have never felt, what I never got the night is that night. Number one, I will save you. All your sins will wipe away. The guilt will take away. The oppression will take away. The judgment it will take away. Number one, I will save you. Number two, I will heal you. Somebody there is getting healed tonight. I said somebody there is getting healed tonight. If you call, go back up. If you tell it, if you shout it out, you will say, Lord, I am here. And you show him where the sickness is. You show him where that oppression is. It says, call unto me. And I will answer you. One, I will save you. Two, I will heal you. Three, I will cleanse you. See, there are times we feel can I come in the presence of God? I remember what I did. I remember I rolled in a spiritual mold. I feel dirty in my soul. I feel dirty in my mind. I feel dirty in my spirit. He says, call unto me. I will cleanse you. The blood of Jesus will wash you. Your former, your former, your I will save you. 
I will kill you. My word, son. I will cleanse you. What a well, man. I will deliver you. What a down in there. It says there's no yoke that will not be broken tonight. I have a definite assurance in my heart. As I know that two and two equals four, I know that you and deliverance, you are together. Because it says, I will deliver you. And people see you now. And I see the miracle on your forehead. I see the deliverance right there. I see your wife there. I see your children there. Deliverance has come to your family. And the yoke is broken. All the powers and of darkness have crushed the wave of your life. And he says, I will bless you. Somebody there today. Any kind of blessing you have come for. He says, I will bless you. He says, I will provide for you. Poverty will go. Somebody there, poverty will go. Joblessness will go. I don't have anything to eat. That thing has turned around to that. He will provide for you. And then he says, I will sanctify you. you know something? So when we believers come like this, I bring my friend. He will bless your friend, they will bless you. I bring my neighbor. He will bless your neighbor, he will bless you. Everybody here today. You will not escape miracle. Whatever you need. Believe us there. I said, believe us there. You will sanctify you. I will save you. I will kill you. My war, son. I will cleanse you. My way, man. I will deliver you. My down in I will bless you. My book of war. I'll provide for you. No person for I will sanctify you. No sweat in man. Look at this again. Will it now call unto me? Get to me. And I will answer thee. The music that alone. I show thee great and mighty things. The music you want to be at the lag bar. Which thou knowest not. He is what you want. I'm talking to you tonight on pray confidently for supernatural wonders. Pray confidently. Tonight, there's no doubt. Tonight, there's no unbelief. Tonight, there is no pass or maybe. Because if the Almighty Himself that calls you, it's the Almighty Himself that says, I will answer your prayer. It's the one that says, Call. And I will answer you. And I will show you great and mighty things. Things you have never known. Pray confidently for supernatural wonders. Look at verse 6. Look at verse 6 of that same chapter 33. Behold, I will bring it else. And kill. And I will cure them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Do you see what the Lord said he will do? He said, whatever sickness is there, uh -huh. HIV AIDS will be healed tonight. And tomorrow you go for checkup. And the medical exam will tell you now is negative. No more HIV AIDS. Congratulations, you are here tonight. Because he says in verse 6, I will bring it hell and kill. I will kill them and reveal my to them the abundance of peace and truth. In verse 8, I will cleanse them from all 
the iniquity. Whereby they have sinned against me. I will pardon all their transgressions. All the iniquity. Whereby they have sinned and whereby they have transgressed against me. Look at verse 9. And it shall be to me the name of joy. Can you see your joy there? I see counsel unspeakable joy there. That was written for you and waiting for you there. You people, am I talking to you? Are you hearing your name? Are you seeing your picture? Are you seeing the promise for you? So Tonight you will rejoice. A praise and an honor before all the nations of the earth. As you go back to your places tonight, you will see glory upon your life. See miracle upon your life. See the power of God upon your life. We shall hear of all the good that I shall do. Do unto them. I shall fear and tremble for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I procure unto each. The Lord has called you tonight. Anytime the Lord calls somebody specially, He always calls them to something good, something special, something specific. And tonight the Lord is calling you. And you'll be a partaker of the, of the promises of God in Jesus' name. As a look at this message, that the Lord has sent to you. They say, well, set your Lord us your and then look at all the message that this prophet is bringing to you tonight. The prophet tells us three things. Number one. Number two. Number three. And the prophet is coming from the presence of God. Number one. He looks at the problem. The problem. Number two. He comes with a promise. A promise. Number three. He comes with the power of God. Number one. The problem of sin and suffering. The problem of sin and suffering. Many people are confused. Many people say they don't understand. I go to church. What should this happen to me? I'm religious. What should this happen to me? I was born inside a Christian maternity. Why should this happen to me? be reading Bible. Why should this happen to me? I'm baptized in water. Why should this happen to me? Jeremiah said, I'll tell you. He says, number one, the problem of sin and suffering. Sin and suffering were together many, many years ago since the time of Adam and they have never divorced or separated. Where you find sin, you find suffering. And the prophet is standing up. This is the problem. But you will not die in your problem. Your life will not stop at point one. Your life will move out of point one. Somebody is coming out of point one. What do you see there? Somebody coming out of point one. And that's what I'm going to call you at the end of the message. I said, come out of point one. Come out of your problem. You are coming out of problem. Am I talking to somebody there? Let me see your face. You are coming out. I come out. Say it with me, I come out. With a let me, Montade. The life will not end on point one. Point number two. The promise of salvation for your soul. 
The promise of salvation for your soul. Light will replace darkness. Joy will replace sorrow. Possibilities will replace impossibility. The goodness of God will replace all the harassing works of the devil. Salvation will replace your sins. God will carry you like a baby. He said, You are mine. I forgive you. I cleanse you. I change your life. You are not my child. He will put you in a special place in the kingdom of God. From tonight. Are you hearing me? I said, Are you hearing me? Is anybody hearing me? I said, From tonight. Joy. The joy of salvation. The joy of redemption. The joy of forgiveness. The joy of a new life. The promise of salvation for your soul. Your life will not stop there. Even if we stop there, salvation. Salvation. That's wonderful. But we are not going to stop there. So that I got until I lead you to number three. Power will come from heaven. Enter your heart. Enter your family. I will be searching. Ask my wife. Where is sickness? Sickness will flee away. I say Where is satanic attack? Satanic attack will vanish away. Number three. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. The power of supernatural healing for the sea. I'm rejoicing with you already. I see what is going to happen to you. I see the power of God coming your way. Number one, the problem. Number two, the promise. Number three, tell me. Tell me. If it's going to be by your side there, I said number three, what is it? The power, the power of supernatural healing for the sea. And let's really look at number one. The problem of sin and suffering. Here the prophet is telling us. He said, yes, a promise is coming your way. What's the root of your problem? What's the origin of your problem? Why is life like this? The problem of of sin and suffering. Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 3. Jeremiah chapter 3, I'm reading from verse 13. In Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 13, Jeremiah only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou was transgressed against the Lord thy God and has scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed the voice my voice says the Lord. It says, that's the genesis of the problem. Don't touch. I don't say, I don't do it about that. He said, acknowledge. Accept. And confess. And say, yes, I know the root of my problem. It's a problem of my sin. It's a problem of evil. It tells us in verse 25. Of that same chapter 3. He said, we lie down in our shame. Our confusion covers us. For we have sinned. He said, we are confused because of sin. We are oppressed because of sin. We are being destroyed because of sin. Poverty will not allow us to eat because of sin. He said, because we 
have seen. But sin against the Lord our God. We and our fathers. From our youth even until this day. And have not obeyed the voice of our God. Says that is the reason we're suffering. It says there's a connection between sin and suffering. If you say, if you say that the rain of blessing is not falling on your house, so that no day will pour us in the rain. If you say that suffering will not allow you to rest, so that me if you are going to see me sickness and oppression will not allow you to breathe. I said that that no one could do it with me. He says, don't you know why? Oh no, my dear, me. God is a good God. Oh no, no, God is a wonderful God. Oh no, we are not in. It's not His will that anybody will suffer. He said, better we can't do it here. We cause the suffering for ourselves. Oh no, we are our life for our life. We are trapped in suffering. Ourselves. It says, acknowledge that. Only come my lady. You don't just be saying I'm praying, I'm praying. It says, know the origin of your problem. Only come on this one. Let's look at chapter four, verse eighteen. Where's Ori Kenya say, "Get you to the way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee." It says, "This is thy wickedness." Only a yini buburu re. It is bitter because it stretches unto thine heart. It said, the sin is even pinching you now in your heart. It's like your heart will fly out. It will spear there. You are frightened. And there are enemies that are pursuing your life. And you say, but why? He said, you procured this to yourself. You are attracted all this to your life. Let you look at chapter 4 verse 22. I was allowed the prophet to talk to you directly. So that you don't say, okay, that is what pastor so and so said. No, look at verse 22 chapter 4. Oh, my people is foolish. They have not known me. What come me? They are sorted children. And it says they have not understanding. Only what was in him. They are wise to do evil. Only your ballot is a be to do good. They have no knowledge. So for ye at the share any work on it. Their ways are crooked. Oh, no, 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 no. They know how to steal. Oh, my bass and galley. They know how to cheat. Oh, my bass and ninja. They know how to fight. Oh, my bass and ya. They know how to oppress. Oh, my bass and daddy. They know how to attack. Oh, my bass and tap. They know how to destroy other people. They are cunning and clever and crafty. And they can do evil. But to do right. To live good. And to live meat. That one they don't know. They know how to drink alcohol. And they know how to use whatever instrument to attack. They know how to kill. They don't know how to raise. To lie. They know how to defile. They don't know how to keep others clean. And he said, that's their problem. That's the reason why they are suffering. The problem of sin and suffering. Look at chapter 5. Jeremiah said, if you are not convinced yet, that all this problem is not in vain. It's not just a joke. It's not accidental. I wish I were born in America. I wish I were born in London. If I was born in China, maybe I will not be suffering. They say this is our country. They say Nigeria. Nigeria. Why was I born in this place? Because now it's because I'm in Nigeria. That's why I'm suffering. Nigeria. Look at chapter 5, verse 25. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 25. Your iniquities have turned away these seeds 
and your sins have withholding good things from you. It is not Nigeria that is your problem. And you are the problem of your sin. Look at that verse again. Your iniquities have turned away all these good things from you. Your sin your evil, your wickedness, your violence, you're not being on the side of God. You separate yourself from the Creator, the one that can bless you, the one that can make your life good. That's why tonight you will come out of your problem. Somebody there. Ouch. I said out. I said out. You will come out of the problem of sin. And then God will drive suffering away from your life. I thought Kate, you will say amen. Look at verse 26. Chapter 5, verse 26. But among my people have found wicked men. Among my people, so they go to church and they say they're my people. They baptize in water. They say they're my people. They read the Bible. They say they're my people. Among my people are found wicked men. They lay wage as he that set his snares and they set a trap. And they catch me. Be 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 ba anything there ye. What they are going to do here? Verse seven. As a cage is full of birds. As a cage that the Lord will be a god to go for here. So are their houses full of deceit. Be ni le wa go for here. Their houses full of deceit. Ni le wa go for here. He said that is our problem. Only le gani wa alawa. I thank God tonight. To go for the follow la le. Information is coming. If internet is more, revelation is coming. If you know that God has sent a promise, and He has said this problem will not continue. God is sending a promise to you tonight. And the power of the Almighty God will pack that promise. They will set you free. I said they will set you free. Are you still waiting for the promise? I said, are you waiting for the promise? You see, if there is something that's a problem, it's when the promise comes together with the power. United together. Well, Drive every problem out of your life. You come out of that problem of sin and suffering. Then the power of God will come upon you. Something good is happening to you tonight. You'll come out of darkness. I said you'll come out of darkness. You'll come to the light. You'll come out of the wickedness. You'll come to the goodness of God. You'll come out of evil, come out of sin, come out of transgression, come out of iniquity, and you come out of the, you are coming to the forgiveness of the Lord. It will happen to somebody there. Too. Where is the person there? Goodness and coming upon and your and life. Mercy coming upon your life. Forgiveness coming upon your life. The, the smile of heaven. The smile of heaven. The smile of heaven. Will come upon your life. You will go out. You will be free as a feather. You will go. Condemnation will go. You say, Praise the Lord, I am free. Number two, the promise. The promise of salvation for your soul. You know, the people, when Jeremiah came, they were suffering. One day, and they did me. When they saw Jeremiah, they said, Jeremiah, come, come, come. Why? 
They say, why are these things happening to us? Jeremiah chapter 8. Jeremiah I'm reading from verse 20. Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 20. Jeremiah the harvest is past and summer is ended. And we are not saved. They said, We have been watching for the salvation of the Lord. Thank God the harvest for you has not ended. Thank God summer for you has not ended. The time of forgiveness has not ended for you. The time of joy has not ended for you. As they were asking, he was a bearer. And they were saying, he was a The harvest is passed. The summer is ended. And we are not saved. For the heart of the daughter of my people and my heart. I am black and astonishment has taken hold on me. Is there no pan? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the heart of my people, the health of the daughter of my people, recovered? I'm saying God is here tonight. And God is going to wash you. And God is going to cleanse you. But there will be a prayer that comes out of your mouth. Already said, call unto me. But in which way? Call unto me. me. But he didn't. He's not going to allow to just say, it's "Okay, I'm praying." He will tell you how to pray. When God tells you how to pray, and He says, "Tell me this." If you say what He has said, miracle will come upon your life. If you say what God has said, you must say, so that salvation will come. And healing will come. And deliverance will come. And power will come. And the promise of God will be fulfilled in your life. I rejoice with you tonight. Are you still there? I said I rejoice with you tonight. Look at the prayer. Because this prayer is going to be fulfilled according to the promise of God. Jeremiah chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. You see, he tells us how to pray. He says, you don't need to do read my role. Go here, go there, go there, bend there. He says, say it simple. You say, I'm the sick one. I'm the one having problems. I'm the one having attack. I'm the one that is poor. I'm the one that needs your help. I'm the one that needs deliverance. I'm the one that needs, one that needs healing. Heal me, O oh Lord, and I shall be healed. Look at the next thing there. Save me, and I shall be saved. Save me. That's the prayer you can pray to God. No other person can save you. This man has realized the problem. Now he got the promise. He said, I come with the promise in the presence of God. And I say, nothing in my hand I bring. But my tears forever flow. But my seal no respite no. All these for sin cannot atone. And I sacrifice wrath. And I sacrifice pots of oil. And I burn candles. And I go to River Jordan. And I give money to the priest. He says, Nothing in my hands I bring. Simply to the cross I cling. Because I look at the Lamb of God. The Lamb of God. Sacrifice for me. Lamb of God. That died for me. Save 
me. Tamila. And I shall be saved. Salvation is available tonight. Promise of salvation for your soul. Why is it that he can save you? That you don't have to bring a sacrifice. You don't have to bring any money. You don't have to bring anything. Jeremiah tells us in chapter 23. And it is in verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 6. It is this Judah shall be saved. In the days of Christ, behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. Because Christ has come. In his day, Judah shall be saved. And Israel shall be well, Israel, this is his name whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. He said, You come to the Lord. And you say, I'm not righteous. I'm a sinner. I'm dirty. I'm defiled. But Jesus has come for me. Is a righteous Savior. And it's my righteousness. I give my sin to Him. He gives me His righteousness. And I can say now, is the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. The promise of the Lord is whosoever comes. Whosoever comes. Coming out of problem. Whosoever comes coming out of darkness, whosoever comes coming out of the degradation and the shame, whosoever comes unto me, I will in no wise cast off. That's why, as we are coming today, salvation is waiting for you, forgiveness is waiting for you, cleansing is waiting for you. Because that's what he said he will do. But you must do something. You must make up your mind. And you must decide. I come out. And when you come out, problems of sin and sickness and suffering over. Tonight, I see you free. Tonight, I see you saved. Tonight, I see you coming out of that evil thing. And as you come out, problems gone. Sin gone. I saw your law. Condemnation gone. Look at Jeremiah chapter 51. 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 Go ye out of the midst of her. See what the Lord is saying? He says, I love you. I want to save you. I want to forgive you. I want to bring you among the favored people in heaven. But he said, my people, go ye out of the midst of her. You are part of the thoughts. Come out of the midst of them. You're part of the wicked, violent people, fighting people. Oh, I want that you have arrows and sword and matches. Only offer either at the other anywhere you hear trouble has come, trouble has come. Then you take your matches, you go there. If you talk about the good, oh, you are mad. Why you see me? Said you are a child of salvation. Only your mother, you are a child of peace. Oh, my love, you are your drop your matches, come out of there. Do I dare to see the cold? Anywhere you hear the doing charm, if you talk about the good, that's so doing no courtesy. And they did match it. They said, give me talisman. You are a child of salvation. He doesn't want you to perish in that condition. You see, after doing all those things, look at what happens to you in the night. Look at all the pressure of the oppression upon your life. The problem of your sin and suffering. But tonight, your deliverance has come. Your forgiveness has come. 
has come. Verse five. Says in that verse forty-five. I people go ye out of the midst of her. Deliver ye every man a soul from the fierce anger of the Lord. Number one, the problem. You are coming out of your problem. Are you there? Am I talking to somebody there? Somebody coming out there. And then number two, the promise of God will meet you on the way. As you stand up, and I say, where you go, where are you going? I'm going to Jesus. I'm going to my Savior. He is the Lord, our righteousness. As you are coming, Jesus, the Savior, will meet you on the way. Forgiveness will meet you on the way. Salvation will meet you on the way. And then power. Help me shout power. I want to hear Ketu shouting power. The power of supernatural healing for the sick. Praise the Lord tonight, you are healed. I said, Praise the Lord tonight, you are healed. Jeremiah chapter 33. Jeremiah, you are healed. from verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Jeremiah, you are Behold, I will bring it hells and kill. He said, He will bring healing from heaven. I will bring. While you are coming out of the problem, coming out of sin, coming out of suffering, coming out of sickness, coming out of darkness, coming out of occultism, while you are coming, I will meet you on the way. Else and kill. Only a mere more dog, what he had a key of them. A mercy was not only one person. He said, The girl on the right top of their healing. No one to bear was up. In the center, their healing. Larry Bay was up. On the left over there, healing. No one's in bed was up. Oh, at the back over there, healing. No way, you know, he was up. For that child over there, healing. Papa, don't many bay was up. Mama, I see the healing coming. Healing. Mama, what is it was a boss? Mama, deliverance and healing. Baba, he was at him, what he done It's coming your way. Oh, terrible. I said, it's coming your way. Oh, that will bring it health and cure. Where? And if you're that, you're going to let that be here. Them I will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. And then if there's any attack over there, deliverance has come. I said deliverance has come. Tonight you'll sleep like a baby. They were pressing you on the bed. The power of God will drive them away from you. I want only a man to lead a kettle. I bear all of your love of healing. He said, "You are not the miracle of deliverance." He said, "You are not the daddy." Jeremiah chapter fifteen. Jeremiah, you are not the daddy. I'm reading from verse twenty-one. I said, "Cock and the Lord." Jeremiah chapter fifteen, verse twenty-one. Jeremiah, you are not the daddy. I said, "Cock and the Lord." I will deliver thee. Who is God talking about here? I said, Who is God talking about here? The joy of the Lord will never leave your life. And I will deliver thee out of the hands of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hands of the terrible. And that terrible sickness that came upon your life, tonight healing has come. The curable sickness that came upon your life. Tonight, healing has come. Jeremiah chapter 30. I'm reading from verse 17. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 17. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wounds. Internal wounds of ulcer, you will heal you. Eternal, uh, eternal sickness of cancer, you will heal you. I you will not die of that cancer. 
Your life is precious in the sight of the Lord. All that issue of blood tonight he will kill you. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord. Because he called you an outcast. Saying this in Zion. Who no man seeks after. The sickness became so terrible that the people that were spending money taking care of you, they have run away. They say they don't know whether you'll ever be healed. They'll see you this way. They'll see you heal. They'll see you deliver. They said, you see it herself. You see it, another person. Then you go there. Then you are smiling. Then they mention the name. They say, oh, are you another person? Then you begin to tell them stories. Story, story. This is my story. This is my testimony. Somebody has a testimony. And it will happen to you in Jesus' name. Look at verse 22. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. Can God do it for you tonight? I said, will God do it for you tonight? This problem, will he take it away? This sickness, will he heal this sickness? I say, this infirmity, will he take it away? Anything too hard for God to do? Anything impossible for God to do? Welcome to the miracle arena. Welcome to the supernatural. Welcome to signs and wonders tonight. The promise of God has come to deliver you. Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by the great power, the great power and the stretch out arm. Ah, only one long word. You want your daughter at the end of the bag, and Larry at your father. And there is nothing too hard for you. Position for sorrow for. And there is nothing too hard for you. Position for sorrow for. Cancer, not hard for God. I said, the other day, because of a lot of paralysis, not hard for God. Yarrow, because of a lot of blindness, not hard for God. For you, because of a lot of blindness, not hard for God. Yard, because of a lot of pressure, not hard for God. The other because of a lot of tonight, healing has come. Lala, you were satisfied. Tonight, deliverance has come. Number one, the problem. Number two, the promise. Number three, the power. Those who respond to number one. And you come out of the problem. You say, I want salvation. I want forgiveness. I want the favor of God. I want the forgiveness of God. Number one, you come out of the problem. Jesus, I come. Say, I come. My Redeemer, I come. As you are coming, the promise of God will meet you by the way. They will forgive you. They will cleanse you. He will save you. He will change your life. You will never be the same again. As the promise of God is coming, the power will follow. The power will follow. The miracle will happen today. The miracle will continue with you during the day. The rest of your life, miracle, miracle, miracle. Child of miracle. Daughter of miracle. Papa is coming your way. Mama is coming your way. Little boy, my little girl is coming your way. You come out of the problem. Then the promise of God be yes and amen in your life. Are you ready? I said, Are you ready? I said, Are you ready? What are you if you're ready? I said, what are you if you're ready? Heaven is talking to you. Heaven is talking to you. Heaven is saying, this is your day. Your day of salvation. He says, this is your day. Your day of deliverance. 
Today's is your day. The day of power. Expound the nice clue. Did you expound the nice clue? Can you see them for a moment? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You see them for a moment. Expound the nice clue. You have seen the problem. It's the problem of sin and suffering. If you are saying, I recognize that. I acknowledge that. I confess that. I come out. I come out. I come out. I come out of the sea. Out of the suffering, I want to partake of the promise of God. I want to partake of the power of salvation. Wherever you are, you rest up your heart. Say, yes, Lord, I am here. A candidate for miracles. A candidate for the miracle of salvation. A candidate for the miracle of forgiveness. Lord, I am here. You rest up your heart. If you're raising up your hand, you know what the word of God has said? Stand up. You stand, you stand for Jesus. You say, yes, here I am. Yes, Lord, here I am. You raise up your hand. I come out of the problem. Out of the problem of sin. What are you? You raise up your hand. And you stand up. And the promise of God is coming. The promise of God is coming. As you are coming out of your sin. As you are coming out of your sin. The promise of forgiveness will be. Your if you are raising up your hand, you are standing up, come out here. I want salvation. Come out here. I want salvation. Come out here. I want forgiveness. God bless you. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Come. God bless you. Come. Yes, yes, yes. From the right hand side. Yes, from the center. Yes, from the left. The Lord is calling you. And the Lord is Saying, well, we he wants to save you. Over he down. wants to forgive you. Over he down. wants to cleanse you. He yeah, wants to change your over life. Yeah, yeah, the problem is sin. Well, the say. problem is a problem of sin. Well, and well, he says, come. He says, come unto me. Oh, yeah, what's All me? ye that labor oh, and are heavy ladies. And I will give you rest. Oppression will stop. Suffering will stop. Sickness will stop. All those nightmares will stop. All the evil things the devil is doing will stop. And say, yes, Lord, I come out of the problem. The problem is a problem of sin. That's what brings suffering. God bless you, keep on coming. It's a day of joy. It's a day of forgiveness. It's a day of salvation. God bless you, keep on coming. God bless you, keep on coming. The Lord has been waiting for you. He said he created you. He created you for something good. And for something peaceful. You can come. You can come. Let's solve this problem tonight. Let's solve this problem tonight. The problem of sin and the problem of suffering. Let's raise the problem tonight. Let forgiveness come tonight. Let pardon come tonight. Let salvation come tonight. It will cleanse you. It will wash you. It will touch your life. It will change your life. Come out of that mess. You come out of occultism. You come out of that gang. You come out of that evil scene. Keep on coming. Keep on coming. He's waiting for you. He wants to save you. He wants to forgive your sin. He will give you salvation. He will pardon you. All the sins you ever committed in your life. The guilt and the condemnation. He will take everything away. And then it will give you a new life. It will give you a new life. You are listening to our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, or other anointed minister of God from our ministry. Let the words sink in your heart and they will do you good throughout your whole life. It is our belief by the grace of the Lord that you will come and worship with us at Deeper Life Bible Church. Number 4656 Bravo Drive. We have our service every Sunday 
from 9 a.m. to 11.30. And we have our Bible study on every Monday from 7 to 8.30. As you are doing so, I, the grace of the Lord will continue to be with you and you will never be the same. Thank you. God bless you.